one of the highest goal scoring players for the Boston Bruins in history. This man knew how to score. As a matter of fact, his nickname is Nifty. That's how well he handles the puck. So Mr. Middleton's gonna say a few words. Then if you have a couple questions, we can do that. And then we'll head back out on the ice, okay? So Mr. Middleton. Hi guys. Hi. Nice to be out there with you this morning. Everybody have fun? Good. Well, I've done a few camps in my day. I enjoy uh, teaching you guys the game of hockey. You know, I grew up in Canada in the 60s. I used to be a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. Can you believe that? They, they won four Stanley Cups in the 60s, so I wanted to be a Toronto Maple Leaf when I grew up, right? But, you know, one thing I did growing up in Toronto was play street hockey. You guys play, we call it road hockey in Canada. Are you guys playing much street hockey? Yeah. Do you? Oh, that's good, because a lot of people ask me how I became such a good stick handler. And I really think it's because I played a lot of street hockey. It was very hard to handle a bouncing frozen tennis ball. And then when I got on the ice, I learned to handle a puck when it was bouncing too. I was just lucky that way. But today, you guys are so busy playing all your practices, your games. I think the one thing, and I have a stepdaughter that plays out in Asabit, the one thing you really have to do, and she goes to every one, is, is go to your clinics, go to your your clinics that teach you how the fundamentals, teach you the passing, teach you the skating, teach you the stick handling, right? Because when you're in practice with your team, you're practicing your team sport, your position, how to break out of your zone, how to get into their zone, how to set up a scoring play. But to learn the fundamentals, you really have to go to the clinic that you have most of your organizations on a weekly, right? You guys have skills clinics, your organizations you can go to for a power skating clinic on Sunday or whatever. I think that's very important to do that extra work because you wouldn't be here if you didn't love hockey. So it doesn't, I don't even want to use the word work because it's fun, right? All right, well, I used the wrong word there. But I, when I grew up, there wasn't a lot of extra clinics and skills. We just went on the street and that's where we learned. Okay, but you guys are lucky you have all this structure for you. You just have to go there and you have very talented people teaching you how to do the skills. And all you gotta do it week after week. When you play hockey or any sport, all it is is repetition. You keep doing the right things week after week. If you have a bad habit and an instructor tells you, like I was showing you about stick handling, about getting your hands out in front, you try to work on that, even though it's uncomfortable for you and it's not the way you usually do it, it's the right way to do it. And you try that week after week and all of a sudden that'll become your habit, okay? So you keep doing that week after week, repetition, 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 and you become better hockey players, all right? And then as you grow up, you'll have fun, you'll end up going to high school, then college. If I know anybody, a hockey player at your age, you, you keep playing your whole life. That's the one great thing about hockey. You don't see a lot of people playing football at 40 or 50, right? But you can play hockey. Look at me, I'm 62, I'm still playing. <laughs> These guys are even older. No, older. <laughs> but uh, thanks to Jay Jensen inviting me today. I'm glad that I'm here. I'm looking forward to the next hour. But. The main thing is to have fun at your age. If you don't have fun in the game, I'm still having fun. That's why I'm still doing it. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't be doing it. And you're still nifty right? out there, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Very oh yeah. Still yeah. Well, I used to have wooden sticks, and now I have a composite. <laughs> I never used to use tape, but now I have to use tape. So I'm not as nifty as I used to be. <laughs> so what do you guys say? How about a big round of applause for Mr. Middleton? Thank you. Go home or should we go back on the ice? Yeah. Let's go! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. Get it running. There you go.
Who's ready? Who's ready? 